Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be talking about Backrooms Level 26, aka Otherworldly. Sounds spooky to me. I'm also gonna be going over Level 27, aka The Bunker Springs, after level 26. I had already gone over level 27 in a different video, it was a safest levels compilation video, and since the explanation is pretty short, I didn't want to give it its own entire video, so I'm just gonna slap it on the very end of this explanation for your enjoyment. So without further ado, enjoy the explanations of Backrooms level 26 and levels 27. But first, make sure to sub to the channel so I can get to 500k and buy the Backrooms pants. Now let's get to the video. Level 26 is classified as a class 5 difficulty and is very unsafe, mainly due to there being some environmental changes and a ton of creatures chasing you. The level itself looks like a huge, but not infinite, urban household, but it's not infinite and that's one of the reasons it's so dangerous, because there's less space to run away from the creatures chasing you. The level has some of the same properties as level 0 does, because some of the rooms and hallways change and they'll just randomly segment themselves or glitch themselves in weird ways that normally wouldn't happen in real life. There are also random doors and random rooms and staircases that just glitch into walls walls or go right to dead ends, so it's really untelling what you're gonna see. And it's almost like houses are stitched together in some parts, because it just a tons of different decorations just meet in weird places. The most dangerous hallways through the level are the claustrophobic and skinny ones, because they're typically darker and they have more creatures in them trying to chase you. Furniture, like tables and lamps and stuff, can also randomly be placed into the side of walls or, or hanging from the ceilings or stuff like that. All of this glitching stuff can change at any time, and it never stays the same for long. That's why it's dangerous. There are window entities here on this level that look out to what appears to be a backyard or the outside area. You can open the window, but if you go out there, then you can get your eyes melted by a blue mist. Nice. Side note here, I love how this sentence is written, quote, the mist is toxic, however, it will eventually melt eyes, end quote. Like, that's so funny to me. It's not toxic, but it melts your eyes? Okay. Items like liquid pain and even royal rations can randomly be found inside of the level as well, specifically in the refrigerators, and you can also find things like level keys and fire salt just laying around on tables. I guess since the level is dangerous, it's got good resources to balance it out. Now the entities that spawn here are the typical ones like windows, smilers, death moths, clumps, hounds, facelings, skin stealers. Whew, that's a mouthful. But the point is, this level is crawling with things that want to eat you. And on top of that, the level is changing its layout constantly based off of real life rooms. Literally each room in this level is a room from a real house or building from real life. And it can even change into your own house. Sometimes the entirety of the level will just change into a weird, demented version of your house, and the rooms will be weird and big, or yeah, it's goofy, trust me. There's no current outpost here, but there was one called the Engineers, and they just stockpiled a bunch of supplies on the level, but they haven't been heard from in forever, so we don't know where they're at. To enter this monster house level, you have to go to floor 1000 of level 13, and to exit, you can glitch through some of the already glitching furniture, or you can find a staircase that leads down to be sent to the basement level, which is an enigmatic level. Cool! Level called the Bunker Springs, or level 27. This level is classified as class 0, and it's a very peaceful but kind of small level. The actual level itself is infinite, but the accessible parts of the level where you can go are pretty small at around 200 feet or 18.6 meters in size actually. But the area you can go to is a huge hot spring full of very mineral rich water. Some people have even taken a drink of the water and they say that it makes you feel really calm and really empty headed and like your stress is completely gone. And they even get more energy too. The water temperature hovers at about 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 32.2 degrees Celsius, which is about what a typical hot tub from real life is set to. High on the walls of the cavern, there are two holes that pour in new water to the spring, and there's a hole in the very corner under the water that will drain the water that's in there now, so it's constantly getting cleaned out with new water added, which is pretty cool since lots of people come here. On that note, apparently this level is pretty popular among people who are on level 11 specifically, since you can get to it really easily from there. 
the water gives a really therapeutic feeling to the person if they bathe in it for over an hour and it can get rid of stress and make a person really calm and it even can change your outlook on things and make you feel optimistic nice dude the water can also heal very small ailments like rashes or acne and even small cuts but it's not recommended to stay in the water for more than two hours since if you do you'll get dizzy and nauseous and you're also not supposed to take up time for too long in there since there's like a line of people waiting but i'm taking as long as i want to because it sounds pretty cool there are no bases here and you can enter this level by turning a shower on the hottest setting and closing your eyes if you do this then you'll be teleported to the tunnel which is slightly above the pool and then you could just walk down some stairs to get into the water to leave you just have to walk to the corner of the pool area where meg has built a staircase that goes into the tunnel that the water flows out of and you can just walk down that tunnel and you'll be sent back to where you came from cool so pretty much a level you can go to just to chill on the hot spring where the water can actually heal you too nice cool So yeah, that was my explanation of Backrooms level 26 and level 27. I hope you enjoyed it. I think it's pretty funny to watch these videos back because you can see how much better my audio quality is in the newer video, level 26, compared to the Bunker Springs video where it's less good. So I think it's pretty interesting. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you are indeed still watching, make sure you comment this keyword, Woogsy. So it's Brugzy, but with a W, because if you comment that, I will know that you are one of the real ones and you are a real fan for watching to the end of the video. So thank you so much if you're still watching. Thank you for supporting me and just subscribing to the channel. We're on, we're on the way to 300k. I mean, it's literally that simple. We're at 273 as of recording this audio. I mean, like that, that's literally absurd. That's 300,000 people. Thank you so much. I have so much planned this summer. I have a non-backrooms video coming out within a few weeks. It's over some all tomorrow's lore and creatures. If you like the backrooms, then you're gonna like this video. Uh, it's really cool, really in-depth lore, and it talks about speculative evolution of how humans could change billions of years from now. If that sounds interesting, you're really gonna like the video. It's all about these crazy entities and creatures. It's super cool to me, and I'm gonna make a video on it. Make sure you sub to my second channel, Toogly. We're getting closer to 20k. I'm about to upload some really cool stuff. Actually, probably today, when you're seeing this video, a video will be uploading to Toogly, so go check that out. Make sure you just leave a like on the channel, comment Woogsy. Thank you so much for everything, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace and love. Mm -hmm.